Scene 9. May has arrived, but Sarah, Rebecca, and other women accused of witchcraft can feel no warm breezes, no see any blossoms. They are in Salem town, locked inside a damp, dark room with dirty hay thrown on the floor. With them is the tuba. Sarah has found her huddled under a blanket, her back covered with horrible scars. Were, were these the cause of your confession? Oh, yes. They beat me till I screamed. Whatever they want to hear. Now they think I'm a witch, and they listen to me with fear. But you are not a witch, and whatever you confess to them is a lie. What is a lie to a slave? If they tell you a lie is the truth, then be the truth. I wear the truth on my back. You are no slave. You, you would not understand. Soon after the door swings, open two guards enter the room. The clink of their chains they carry fills the room. What is this? We have orders to chain you to the walls. But why? Locked up in this place, we are not a threat to anyone. Witches and their spells know no walls. When will the new governor arrive from England? He will see these trials for what they are and end them. <laughs> will he now? Who do you think gave our orders? What are you saying? I'm saying you can thank the new governor for these. We are chaining everyone, even, children, even the children. But they are not accused. Their mothers are. It's all the same to us. Orders are orders. Oh, no. We are doomed. All the women are chained, both arms and both legs. Despite the extreme pain they cause, heavy metal cuffs are clamped onto Rebecca's swollen legs.